All the new dealers in Atlanta are getting supplied through Antonio Pope in Miami. You need to get me something on this guy. Two days tops. So get a team together and fix this. Put me in on it, James. I'm like half cop, half puma. I'll get in your ass. So the first thing I want to address uh, before we go into the movie is the fact that we're here in Amsterdam today. Mm -hmm. um, is there any memory you cherish that you want to share with us? Oh man, uh, just performing out here. Uh, I love the energy of the crowd. We've done, you know, at least five, six shows over my career out here, and it's always been, you know, inspiring, entertaining, energetic, and uh, I've always had fun. So there's enough good atmosphere to potentially put a third film here in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, it's definitely in the running. It's, you know, it's like. It's like bidding on the Olympics, you know. You got about five <laughs> places that's in the running and, you know, we'll have a big ceremony and announce the winner. You know? Uh-oh! The brothers-in-law just got to town. If you say that one more time, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Are you funny? It's gonna stick. The location is very important. You saw that with the second film. It was a very, it was a lot of fun to film in Miami. Yeah, you know, Miami's a great place to film because, you know, it's fun. While you're filming, it's fun when you're off the set. A lot of things to do, a lot of uh, great scenery. It's a great feel. You feel like you're on vacation even <laughs> though you're working. Um, so it's great. You know, the only thing that's, you know, hard is the heat and humidity. <laughs> uh, you know, you definitely sweat a lot shooting out there. So you need to be ready for that, but that's about it. So did you prefer that to the cold weather here today or? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, Miami's nice, but uh, I think, you know, Amsterdam is, is you know, a lot warmer because of, uh, because of the people. So it's cold outside, but it still feel warm out here. You look like a damn marshmallow. A good detective knows how to blend it with the locals. Oh yeah, you blending all right. The movie has a lot of great action and comedy scenes. I'm wondering, is it harder as an actor to create a scene uh, which people have to laugh at, or you want the audience to be on the edge of their seat? I think it's harder to create the action because you, it's just more tedious. It's a lot of different engineering rigs and things that go into making these cars do what they need to do. So, I, you know, it's hard to put together great action. You know, comedy, I'm not going to say it's easier, but, you know, me and Kevin can sit here and create comedy, uh, you know, without even a script. So uh, the action is pretty, pretty intense. You know, we try to make a movie that's entertaining no matter what, you know. Whether you laugh or not, it's still a great ride, and that's really what it's all about. And I'm wondering, because I love the ringtone scene. That was possibly one of the best scenes in the movie. Yeah. What's your ringtone when Kevin Hart calls? Uh... Man, well, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about it. With Kevin Hart call, it'd be uh, uh, Short People. <laughs> it's an old school song. Short People Don't Deserve to Live. <laughs> it's an old school song. I love that. <laughs> um, obviously, you had a great career in, uh, in music, which is still ongoing, of course. Mm -hmm. But if you had to pick one definite now, you couldn't do the other one anymore. Which one would you pick right now? Oh man, that's that's just so hard, you know, to choose. But I think I would do music. I would pick music because I have way more freedom in music to do what I want to do and create what I want to create. Movies are, you know, a project. It's everybody working on one project. And, um, you know, it's cool. I'm a team player, but sometimes I like to go and paint my own picture. And, um, so music allows me to do that. You know, so if I had to just give one up, it would be movies, even though you know movies are way more lucrative right now than music. But my heart is still in doing what I feel. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for speaking to us. Hopefully we can see you again in the future in Amsterdam. Cool, no problem. All right. James!